Here at Sun and Fun, we came by to the Aerolite booth, and we do love that airplane, and we'll do more about the airplane in the future. But now we want to talk about something completely different for what I know to come out of this gentleman next to me. I'm Dan Johnson. The gentleman is Dennis Carley, and you are now going to represent airframe parachutes. Is that right, Dennis? Yep, that's correct, Dan. Um, the brand here in the U.S. is Magnum Ballistic Parachutes. They're manufactured by Stratus in uh, the Czech Republic. They've been in business for uh, 26 years, a little over 26 years, manufacturing uh, aircraft uh, ballistic parachute systems. They have been imported into the U.S. since 2006, and we acquired the company in January of this year. Just of this year. Yep. So this is a very fresh thing for you. You have been installing ballistic parachutes on the Aerolite for years many years uh, yeah. ever since you got the company and and previous people before that so you knew about the product but now you're getting involved with it at another level of representing this not just for your airplane correct correct yeah for only for our aircraft and a host of other experimental and light sport aircraft as well all right so let's start with the one in the middle because this literally came off the airplane right behind us here and this is the soft pack that Yep. Appears obvious, but tell me a little bit more about it, Dennis. 660-pound uh, uh, capacity on this soft pack. That's the weight of the aircraft and people and everything that's coming down underneath the canopy? Yep, that's okay. correct. Yep. And the soft pack style is available in a variety of different weight ranges. So basically there are canopies. The sizes of the canopy will determine the capacity that that is capable of, and it can be packed into a VLS pack or a canister or a soft pack. On the light aircraft, like the Aerolite, Weight is always a consideration for us. Soft pack is the lightest. The way very to do lightest it. one is the soft pack. Yep, that's correct. And that is normally what is installed on most ultralight uh, aircraft. Is the soft pack. Well, let's go over here to what I would call a canister model. Correct. Yep, canister model. And again, that's uh, the housing is a different housing. This is a weatherproof housing. It's sealed up around the uh, front. Okay, right up in here. Yeah. Yep. And this is a breakaway cover, is it? Correct. Yep. That, that's okay. correct. Yep. So the rocket motor will go out and just break that piece off and take the cup you off. won't even notice it's there that's correct okay yep and then the rocket motor that's the part here on the top now this doesn't have anything in it that's why and I'm not that strong <laughs> but uh, if it had a canopy in it this would be a little heavier but the rocket motor is the part inside here the camera's looking right down the barrel there so to speak and uh, that's connected up to this activating housing tell me a little bit about how someone goes about installing this product well we have a this particular one versus the soft pack let's say uh, well the arming of the rocket is the same regardless of which, right. uh, okay. which motto it is the like this canister if you look at the bottom of it has a base ah, yeah, plate okay, uh -huh. and that base plate then there is an adapter that goes on a variety of different the mounts for different the ones for different airframes correct okay. yep. yep and then this just uh, you help people decide how this aims and how it should be configured on an airplane? Yep, that's correct. Okay. Yep, we have a set of, uh, we have step-by-step -step detailed instructions on arming the rocket, and that has color photographs in it. It's very easy to work your way through that. And we have mounting components for a variety of different aircraft. If somebody calls us with an aircraft that is non-mainstream, we can assist them. We have a machine shop that make components for us to okay to all right so, so you can basically customize for any air yeah. airframe mm -hmm. that's correct uh, given some time obviously yep. if it's not one you already know well yep okay all right and then the last one over here on the left on that's, our left yep that's a, a vertical launch system that's normally mounted on the top side of a wing okay and the rocket is pointed up so it's it's fired vertically off the top of the aircraft and is it again then a breakable I mean, it's a pretty soft piece of plastic here, I can feel. Yeah, it actually has a, a, a cord inside that cuts away. Ah, okay. As it, as so they're deployed. assisting the breakaway yep. by that development then, yep. okay. And then uh, right here we're seeing the, uh, this is the attachment strap, which obviously would be a different length for an airplane. This is just a demo model. Yep. Uh, but this also then connects through this bracket into the inside to the parachute, is that, that correct? That is correct, right. So that's a, that's a continuous bridle then to the inside of the canopy through this uh, fitting. And because of that, I'm gathering that makes, uh, you can seal this all the way around. So this is, because up on the top of the wing, it's gonna see maybe some moisture or maybe rain. Yeah, that's, that's correct. That's not gonna affect it though. That's correct, it's completely sealed. All right, great, yep. great. Okay, so, and where does the rocket motor mount on this? Uh, you can mount it, normally on the, on the VLS pack, it's mounted to the aircraft away from, slightly away from the... Uh, okay, so not mounted physically to this particular container. That's correct. Okay. And like on the Challenger, when we mount them on the top of the Challenger, we have a bracket that goes around the root tube and holds the, the rocket right behind uh, the, the VLS pad. Yeah, you don't want to be too far away from this, yeah. I know, but, uh, but these rocket motors, uh, 
when they get when they get a load behind them, they're kind of like a string kite. They're they're very stable that way. They're just you can see here. I mean, it's just a just a simple tube. I mean, there's no fins or nope. no nose on it. I mean, it doesn't look very aerodynamic, but just because it's got a load trailing behind it, it goes away from the load. Yep. So pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. Um, you've got these products in stock. We have some in stock, and uh, some we order custom for that particular aircraft. Uh, lead time is running somewhere between four and six weeks if we four don't have it weeks. on the shelf. Okay, well that's not too long anyway. Uh, I know this company's had some not only success at manufacturing and fitting, but some actual saves with mm -hmm. the product. Yeah. Um, and they, I know they always like to talk about that because there's nothing. The product just sits there. Till you need waiting it. Waiting on an emergency, basically. Yep. But when you need one, you really need it. You need it. Yep. So good stuff. There's all different kinds of airplanes out there. Somebody comes to you with that one there and says, well, I, I want one of your parachutes for them. What do you need from them to know what to deliver to them? Uh, s maximum speed, uh, maximum weight, and what the airframe is. Uh, chances are we have some prior installation photographs and mounts for it. Okay. There are some, uh, you know, some smaller manufacturers and there are some guys that do one-offs that we can custom tailor it to it, but the mainstream ultralights and light sport aircraft and experimental aircraft, normally there's a history that we know you need this chute, you need this bridle length, you need this activation handle length, and that'll give you your installation. Okay. Um, but how how are your prices generally compared to other market leaders? Uh, we're generally, depending on the size of the system, we're generally 500 to close to $1,500 less expensive. Okay. Um, some of that, you know, these are manufactured in Europe, and there's always an, an exchange rate difference yeah. between the U.S. dollar and the, and the euro. But uh, the exchange rate is very, very good right now. If somebody comes to you with a standard kind of aircraft, how quick could you get them one? Two days. Two days, okay. So repack time of the canopy or in the canister or in the VLS separately from the rocket motor replacement time. So let's just do the canopy repack. Okay. How often do they need to be, they, they got to be inspected periodically, yep. like everything on your airplane. Yep. What is the interval for each of these? Uh, the three you have sitting here are six years for the canopy, including in the soft pack. Okay. Six year inspection for the rocket, 12 year replacement for the rocket. Okay. And that's true with all of them. Then. Correct. Okay, yep. so six years you got to deal with the canopy, which is mostly an inspection in my experience. Yep. Everything's good. You put it back in. Does that have to go overseas to get handled, especially for the pressure pack components? It does. We <laughs> yeah. ship it. We ship it back to. Uh, to but that's Europe. probably fairly quick back and forth, is uh, it? Three weeks to four weeks turnaround. Time. Okay, so you need to plan ahead on that a little bit then. And just so you know too, Dan, we for the original purchaser of any of our systems here, we offer a loaner canopy while they're shoot is being repacked. Oh, so okay. If the if the original if the original owner five years down the road or six years down the road says my soft pack it needs to be repacked, he ships it to him or to us, we send him a, a loaner canopy and then we swap him back. Yeah, out and you don't have to deal back. with the rocket motor then they're right. just shipping the just the soft pack container itself to you. Or this or this, yeah, whatever or yeah. his container is, yeah. Unbolt that but leave the rocket motor where it is yep. and like that or secure it safely of course but uh, okay. All right. So now, and uh, and approximate cost on that. These things change, but get us in the ballpark for that service. Uh, the small, the smaller soft packs will be in the six to eight hundred range, and okay. then the the more complex or the bigger units can be twelve or thirteen hundred. Yeah, it's a big deal to get that all back <clears> in there. It's packed dense as a piece of wood. I know. So uh, that's some doing. Okay, but that replacement idea you've got, that's a great concept. Okay, so. What, si what size aircraft can you accommodate in what I'm talking about there is weight, because uh -huh. it's all about the weight for a parachute, Yep. which is intended to carry down, in case you don't know what a whole airframe parachute is, we should have done this early, it not only carries the person down, but the whole airplane, everything that's in it, and you land about like the airplane's sitting. That's correct. That's yep. the idea anyway. Yep. So now, therefore, the weight of the airplane at gross is what you're buying the parachute for. That's correct. What are the ranges that you've got? You mentioned 660, I think. 660, right, that's, that's the small smallest end? unit. Okay. Yep. Uh, up to 3,950 pounds. Okay, so that's a big airplane. We're talking something like a Cirrus mm -hmm. then. Yep. Okay, so that's a wide range of uh, products. Now, on an experimental, no problem. Anybody can do anything they want, basically. They just got to follow the rules about shipping and things like that. But if somebody has an SLSA, a fully manufactured aircraft, they can have these parachutes on them. Right. Is that correct? Yep. 
but you have to work with the manufacturer then. The airframe manufacturer has to bless the installation in some way. Right, on the SLSA planes, as you know, the, the ASTM standards are for the, the parachute or for the attachment of the parachute, but the manufacturer has to specify you can use this parachute or this parachute or that manufacturer's parachute on the airplane. Right, and then they'll say which particular configuration as well. They're pretty much going to specify everything, right. but you can deliver to that need. That's correct, yeah. Perfect. Okay, one more time with a web address for us so we can find out more, Dennis. Magnumparachutes.com. All right. You can find more about all kinds of different parachutes and some of the experiences of using them and lots more affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Dennis Carley and myself here at Sun and Fun.